everyone, it's Melly with Maleficent.com and the Fangirl Diaries, and I'm here with yet another monthly favorites video. We're at the end of June, which means we're entering my birthday month. How exciting! Okay guys, so I'm going to start off the favorites video with some lifestyle items. I found some super cute things this month that I'm really excited to share with you guys, so let's check them out. First off are these really adorable tiny little notebooks found in Target of all places at the dollar spot. They actually are $3 each and they're in these fun bright colors and they have great little motivational messages on them like this one says wake up and be awesome and this one says do what you love so I completely fell in love with them I think they're adorable um, and I've been using them non-stop I absolutely love paper goods I feel like I say that in every video but it's true um, and I love these so if you have a target nearby and who doesn't honestly then make sure you snag these before they're gone because they're great and adorable and lovely Next up are some fun items from Forever 21. I personally love that the brand has expanded from just clothes and fashion and accessories to also include more lifestyle items, especially beauty. Um, I did have a little snafu with a face mask. If you guys follow me on Snapchat, you know that one of their Japanese face masks, or a ripoff of one, uh, burned my face. So be careful what you purchase there. I really wouldn't go for any beauty items that go on your face, just in case. Um, but in terms of shower, I definitely recommend these freaking adorable shower caps. If you're like me and you have colored hair, you have to worry about constantly keeping it dry when you're taking a shower so that things don't get ruined, then these are for you. They are $1.90 each from Forever 21 and they come in these adorable packages, um, or rather not packages, in adorable designs, like these unicorn and rainbow ones and also my personal favorite these dinosaur ones which are so cute there's only one shower cap in each package but i mean for a dollar ninety it's fantastic they last a while i'm still on one after over a month so i definitely recommend these they're adorable and just add a little bit of fun to your shower experience Next up, I want to share some awesome beauty finds this month. I actually don't have a whole lot to share with you, just one amazing item, um, and it is the Urban Decay Gwen Stefani palette. I know this is not new for anybody, it's been out for a while, um, it's sold out for a while, now it's back in stock, um, but I have learned to love it a whole lot this month. Um, it's basically my go-to palette. I traveled with it, which is the first time I traveled with a makeup palette, and it was amazing. What I love about this palette is that it has a lot of neutrals, so it's very wearable, and that's important, especially when you're on vacation. And I was on a beach vacation, so I didn't want like a crazy face. I just wanted to look nice at night, um, and this definitely did the trick. I am. Currently not a big fan of Gwen Stefani and her antics, but I'm definitely a fan of her work on this palette for Urban Decay. It's fantastic. I love it. Um, go to Sephora, either online or brick and mortar, and snag one, definitely. Next up on the baby front, I have a really cute Etsy store to share with you guys, and it is Little Bear Butt. Cutest, most hilarious name ever. Um, she's a local Miami mom, and she makes really, really cute geeky wares for your baby. Um, I just recently got two adorable leggings. Um, this one is a Disney princess print, which is so cute, and I can't wait to throw it on Luna. And the other is a superhero print legging, which is also really adorable. Avengers themed. I really love it. And the best part is that she's open to making mommy and me uh, combos. So I have these awesome superhero leggings and mama got an awesome pencil skirt as well that matches. So definitely look out for a mommy and me post on the blog coming soon and I will be rocking this awesome skirt at Supercon hopefully. So check that out too. 
Next up for fashion is an awesome tank that I just happen to be wearing right now, and it's from T Fury. As you all know, I've been a brand ambassador for T Fury for a few months now, and I absolutely love everything that they come out with. It's been a blast working with them, and this tank top just really spoke to me. It also comes in a regular tee if tanks are not your thing. Um, also, FYI, the tanks that they're starting to carry are unisex, so if you're petite like me, even a size small is going to be big. As you could tell, I am wearing this tank off the shoulder because it's just too big on me. Um, but I kind of like that style. I wear it with a bandeau style bra underneath, so it's kind of cash. Um, it could also work for a workout gear, but to get a closer look, I've been rambling on and you don't know what it is, but it is a Marauders tank, so Harry Potter themed. I love that it was a throwback to the Ramones, but instead it's the Marauders, and it has all the members of the Marauders on the tank, which is awesome! I freaking love it! It's so rock and roll while still being really geeky, which is totally my aesthetic, so definitely check it out. I will leave the link below to everything, but I will leave a link below to this specific design on T-Fury in case you want to get your hands on it, because let's face it, who doesn't? Next up for entertainment, I have some more Potter goodness. If you are a huge Potter fan like myself, then you already know that JK released on Pottermore this week, or at least this week while I'm filming this, um, a new story about Ilvermorny, I think I'm saying that right, if I'm not, I'm so sorry, <laughs> which is the new North American wizarding school that she's been mentioning lately. Um, so there's a new background on and history on how the school came to be, its founders, and also four new houses. And along with this information came a sorting quiz so you could see which house you're in in Ilvermorny. And of course I got super excited and I was sorted into the Horn Serpent house, which at first I was a little turned off because I have a phobia of snakes. It kind of sounds like it's close in nature to Slytherin, which I am not. I am a proud Gryffindor. So I kind of had an identity crisis, but after reading the history that she posted on Pottermore, I am so proud to be a horned serpent. I absolutely love the story behind it. It was great to read some new material written by JK from this amazing world that I love and want to live in. Um, it actually brought tears to my eyes, so I cannot wait for the Cursed Child script to be released. Um, it's actually coming out the weekend of my birthday since Mr. Potter and I share a birthday weekend. So, I mean, July is going to be amazing. My favorite video is going to be chock full of Potter, so prepare yourself. JK also mentioned that the new four houses have nothing to do with the British four houses in Hogwarts. So people were trying to find common ground between these houses and the other houses, like is the Horned Serpent house like Slytherin? Is the Wampa like Hufflepuff? No. She flattened that out and said absolutely not. They have nothing to do with each other. So these are four separate houses that mean four separate things. Um, what I really liked that she described in the story is that each house represents a different part of the wizard. So the Horned Serpent represents the mind of the wizard. Um, the other houses represent the heart, soul, and body of the wizard, which I thought was a really beautiful concept. So yeah, you go JK. You are a beast. I love you. So that wraps up this month's favorites video. I know it was kind of brief, I didn't have a whole lot to share with you guys, but I hope that the things that I did share were awesome and that you love them. I am a few days from attending Supercon and sitting on my first ever panel ever. Um, so I am very nervous, I'm very excited. There's lots of feels. I'm launching my own line of clothing and accessories called Geek Girl Gang very soon as well, so there's a lot of things brewing in the land of Maleficent. So keep in touch, follow me on all social media channels, because uh, there's going to be a lot of fun stuff coming up. Guys, love you as usual, and see you soon. Bye.